Good afternoon, everyone. I am coming on here today to do a little bit of a different video. I've talked about a couple different cosmetic bags on my channel so far, but I think I finally found the holy grail of cosmetic and toiletry bags. I've tried so many different styles. I've tried signature styles. I've tried outlet styles. I've tried retired styles. And I think I finally found the best cosmetic slash toiletry bag that I've ever tried in my history of Vera Bradley. Before I get into that, I am going to show you a couple of, or at least one new thing that I'm carrying inside of my purse. So yes, the Mandy and I are still going strong. I'm still loving carrying this bag. I've actually even gotten a few uh, comments on the bag already. A couple from family and then um, I was, I think I'd had to run in big lots for something and uh, the cashier commented on my bag. So um, I, I've just been loving this bag. I have absolutely no compl um, complaints about carrying it. it. It's just, it's just awesome. So loving the Mandy so far. So the um, new thing that I wanted to show you, and I think that this is the only thing that's uh, different besides the cosmetic bag that I'm going to show you here in a second is Oh gosh, this is showing up so beautiful and accurate on camera. This is the Gen Zip ID. Sadly, a retired style. Very, very sad to say that. I love the Gen Zip ID. I am a huge fan of just the original Zip ID case, but over the years, Vera Bradley has come out with a, just a couple different iterations of the Zip ID. One of them being the Gen Zip, and their new one that's replacing the, the Gen Zip is called the Deluxe RFID. Uh, iconic zip ID I think is the full name it's a huge name and I do have a review of that on my channel it's in the pattern seahorse of course I do really like the deluxe uh, zip ID and I think even in that review I said I might have liked it a little bit more than this one but I would come back on my channel after using that one for a little bit and you know kind of say which one I like better what I do like better about the deluxe zip ID is that you have an option to to display two different IDs at once since it has that button that unsnaps and you could see two sides of a clear ID window. I really like that feature and I also like that it is RFID. Um, the two slip pockets on the outside are at least. But there's something about the Gen Zip that it just has so much character to it with this little flap that I just like so much. And I still think while this one has more body to it, it is thicker than both the Zip ID and the Deluxe Zip ID, in my opinion. I think overall, if I had to choose between the Deluxe Zip and the Gen Zip, I would choose the Gen Zip ID. I mean, I don't know if I'll sh I could change my mind on that sometime in the future, but I, I just really like the Gen Zip a lot. I do have quite a few of these. Um, as I've said in the past, the, the Zip ID and the iterations of the Zip ID are my all-time favorite Vera Bradley products, so I, I do love this style a lot. I decided the other day to pick it up in the pattern Fireworks Paisley. This was a, I think, a summer 2019 pattern, so last year. And when it first came out, to be honest, I wasn't very interested in it. The reason why is I'm not much into the heavily thematic prints like this. This is obviously... Fireworks Paisley, red, white, and blue, God bless America type deal. Usually not into themes that are that strong, unless it's like a Disney pattern. Obviously that's a heavily thematic pattern as well. It's got Mickeys and Minis and Goofies and Plutos plastered all over it most of the time. So this one is, you know, very heavy Americana, American flag type deal. So at the time when I came out, I wasn't into it for that reason. But the other day I was scrolling through eBay, <laughs> nothing new there. I was scrolling through eBay and I did see this pop up as a newly listed item, brand new with tags. And it started to remind me of my brother who passed away last October. And th you're getting a little bit of reflection from the camera and the ID window, but he was a United States Marine. He served two tours in Afghanistan. And for some reason, it, this pattern, I started to subconsciously connect it to my brother. So I went ahead and I, I bought it really quickly because it was saying, you know, I think two or three of them have already been sold. So the seller did have multiple 
and I didn't want to miss out because this pattern in some items, I think this was a limited release, meaning it, this pattern didn't come out in the full line of your Bradley products, but there are some items that did come out that are really hard to find now. And so you'll experience on some of these third-party sites a good bit of price gouging. People are charging a lot of money for like a small Vera. Uh, sometimes even some of the Gen Zip IDs were just a little bit overpriced. This one was, I think, I think this retailed for twenty or twenty-five dollars. I got this for sixteen, free shipping, and it came. The, the seller is in the state of Ohio, so it came to me in two days. Um, but I I did start connecting that to my brother and you know him being in the Marines. So obviously I started to look into more fireworks paisley items. I haven't bought anything else as of yet. I think I would eventually like maybe a small Vera or a triple zip hipster because again there's not very many bag styles that came out in this print, but I'm real right now I'm really happy to just have the um the Gen Zip ID in this print. So with the some kids riding his bikes. <laughs> Um, so with the Gen Zip ID, there is a button snap closure this on this pocket, and the interior print is the red, white, and blue stars, and the background. So I, if you if you're in Buzz and you happen to see me post a picture of this, the colors were really rich and vibrant, and actually a lot brighter. I think because I took the the photo in like direct sunlight. Um, and I would say in this video, it is showing up a little more accurate. The colors are more muted. They're not as like red, white, and blue fireworks. They're a little bit more muted than they were in that picture. In that picture, they're very, very vibrant. The, the background is a very dark navy, very close to black, but not quite. It's a very dark navy. And then you do have these pops of, um, you, you've got this, this line work in the back with, um, stars and it's like a, a light or even a medium blue color and then on top of that you've got the paisleys the, the firework paisleys and after look like I got really good pattern placement because some of the gen zip IDs that I did see like you could get the top and the bottom and like have none of the paisley going on there I didn't that I knew the seller had multiple but I didn't even bother asking for a certain pattern placement sometimes I do do that on those third-party sites this time I did, and I was like, you know, I'm, I'm just going to take my chances, and whatever I get, I get. It's fine. And I, I lucked out, and I got a really good uh, print. Especially, I, I love the, the, the curve of the paisley at the top. Really, really pretty. So, I thought I just heard something behind me. So, um, anyway, I, I do think I got really good pattern placement there. So, and, and on the front as well. I, I do like the pattern, the pattern placement on the front. And one other thing I wanted to mention really quick about this is I feel like the cotton on this Gen Zip ID is really soft. It almost feels like, um, I don't know if this is just me or if I'm crazy, but I feel like some of the items in the signature line, or at least most of them to me, the cotton is really stiff. And... I don't know if that's just because it's new. I don't know if it's because Vera sprays it with something for to, to keep the cotton, to 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 uh to extend the longevity of the cotton. So, you know, when you use a bag for years and years and years, eventually it it starts to the cotton starts to get softer and softer, and it, sometimes some bags lose their shape. So I don't know if Vera sprays their cotton with something, or maybe it's just built into the fabrication that makes it stiff like that. I don't know, but I used to work at a um, a retailer that sold Vera Bradley products, and this was back in, like, like between 2014, 2015, up until, oh, I don't know, maybe 2017, 2018, off and on, um, but anyway, the point is, I worked in an era where, you know, it, it, like, some of the, especially 2015, 2016 era, where I, I just remember the cotton being a lot more softer than, say, 2020. <laughs> I, I don't know. I hope I'm not sounding completely crazy. But all of that to say, I, this cotton feels like the old stuff. It, this fireworks paisley ID, and it came new with tags. It wasn't used. It wasn't softened from use or anything like that. It came new with tags, and it just feels so 
soft. I, I don't know what it is about it, but I'm really, really pleased with that fact too. It just reminds me of the older bags. So not stiff at all. And I, I really, really like that. And, and if anybody knows why, maybe, maybe because this was a limited release, you know, special USA pattern, maybe it was made in the USA. I don't know. I don't really know where I could find that. Well, I guess the best place to ask it would be Vera Bradley Buzz. Maybe somebody in there would know it. But I just thought that was really interesting. It just, to me, it's really, really soft. There's not a stiff part to this fabric. It's just really soft. So for what that's worth, I, I, I did want to show that and kind of tell you my, uh, my buying story. Why, you know, before I didn't like this pattern. Now I, I'm starting to like it. And I honestly, I wouldn't mind getting a triple zip hipster in it. Maybe someday a tote if the prices are reasonable. But as usual, I missed the window um, to buy this uh this print because it was in the online outlet sale for months and I don't think it is anymore or at least not at full capacity so all that to say I am really glad that I got I have the gen zip id all right so um just with that not so quick update I apologize that that took so long um let we can start diving into the cosmetic bags now Said at the start of the video I think I found my holy grail cosmetic bag I've tried so many different kinds and my holy grail cosmetic bag is now the, I'm going to put this on the back seat for a minute, the grand cosmetic bag in this pattern, plum crazy, plum, plum crazy, I think. Oh gosh, don't tell me I'm going to forget. Pretty sure this is plum crazy. The reason why I tried out this bag is because I have been using the large cosmetic in the pattern Sweetheart and Flowers. This is a, I think, a February 2020 release, something, something like that. This pattern recently came out and recently retired as well. So I wanted to get a large cosmetic because with the times, I'm just carrying a lot more. And it's not that I'm carrying a lot of makeup. I'm carrying, you know, my, my hair gel, um, my, my hairbrush, and a couple of full-size products. And while it all did fit in here, I was having some trouble with organization. So organization with the large cosmetic here, you've got one front zipper pocket that's open and there's no lining in this pocket. It's just the cotton. And you do have the pretty interior, which is basically the exterior pattern, just colored white. And you do get the ribbon zipper pulls, which is fun. And then with the main compartment, you do have the plastic lining, but it is one big pocket. So all of your stuff is kind of going to be a hodgepodge and I've carried this for a couple of months now and that's been completely fine with me up until I had to carry some extra stuff in here especially now that I'm not you know staying at my apartment I've got like extra hair stuff in here and I don't really have a counter to lay all my stuff out on it's just been living all in my cosmetic bag that's when I realized I needed a little more space and organization because I was running out of room and my hair my hair lotion kept leaking inside of the bag. Now that was okay because like I said, this is a wipeable material on the inside. So that was fine, but it was still getting all over my stuff. So it was time that I got, let's put that down there for a minute. Oh, wait a second. Okay, wait a minute, that is really weird. I just realized this as I was as I was talking here. It looks like, oh my goodness. It looks like okay. So this is my hair lotion. Let me show you what it looks like real quick. This is my hair lotion, Garnier Fructis, Sleek and Shine, uh, smooth styling stuff. Anyway, it's like a yellow color, and I realized it did leak through. Well, I guess what happened is this stitching is not plastic lined. The body of the bag is plastic lined, but the stitching around it is not plastic lined. So it, it's really hard to see on camera. I'm trying to get make sure you can see. Do you see how it's all caked in the corner? And that's actually in the fabric. That's not in the plastic. That's actually in the white fabric. I mean, shame on me for picking a cosmetic bag uh, that has white uh, uh, fabric on the inside, but still, I wouldn't want that on any color fabric, and it's supposed to be protected, so 
that's a bit frustrating. Um, but I mean, I'm not, I'm not upset, but that's, that kind of defeats the purpose of having a plastic lined bag if it's still gonna, something's gonna leak out and get the, the, the lining, the, uh, the, I mean, sorry, the stitching dirty. So, yeah, I, I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that at all. Um, so I'm, I'm sorry for that brief pause, but as I was showing it to you, I realized that it did leak and, uh, kind of stain the actual fabric. So, all of those reasons aside, I, that's why I decided to invest in one of these puppies. So, I knew the Grand Cosmetic existed. I never really looked at it. I'm not really a makeup girl. Um, but, like I said, I don't just carry around makeup. I do have a few small makeup items in here, but it's mostly, like, toiletry items. So, I... Oops. I'm gonna take... get a couple personal items in here, too. Um, uh, anyway. I, um... Let me put this back in here too. I looked up a couple of reviews on YouTube and actually there are quite a few reviews on the Grand Cosmetics so I got to see lots of different perspectives. Every single one of them said that they loved this bag, that this was their favorite makeup or toiletry bag. I even seen some people fit their shoes in here and it's not overly big. It's actually not much bigger than this one. It's just got handles and it's not as wide at the bottom I don't think or maybe it's yeah it is it is a little bit and it's taller than the uh, signature large cosmetic but I just needed something a little bit bigger had the full-on wipeable lining and had carrying handles because another thing I noticed this doesn't have handles so I created like a crease in here as you could see because I've been carrying it like this I've been literally care you know I have to I I'm sleeping in the basement right now, and I have to use the bathroom two floors up. So I'm carrying this two floors up. And so that's it, it kind of developed that crease from me carrying it. Well, I don't have to do that anymore because this one's got the handles. So this works perfect from where for the life that I'm living right now. It's just amazing, and you can fit so much in here. So since I haven't done a review on anything plum crazy we can just talk about that for a little bit and um i feel like i just had the just had the tag okay so there's something kind of perplexing here um i know this is an older style it's been retired for a little while but the i noticed the veer bradley tag is like one of the newer ones so i don't know i got it off ebay anyway so Grand Cosmetic is the name. Let's try to get it to focus in. It's not going to. Um, it retails for $44. I didn't pay that. Like I said, I got it off eBay. So with Plum Crazy, you've got a dark purple background and then you've got these pops of vibrant oranges, blues, greens, yellows even. And it just gives me a painted paisley vibe if you know what that pattern is it's an outlet pattern this one is a signature pattern and it was around for longer than painted paisley but it just kind of gives me that vibe and i love it it's very pretty and i am a purple girl i love blue is my all-time favorite color but purple is probably a close purple and green especially olive green those are both close seconds and this has got some great shades in it and this color and the background, this is not white. I would say it's almost, a, it's like an off-white. It's a little bit darker than eggshell, I would say. So that's kind of nice too. And again, you've got two nice carrying handles and you've got, oh, the, the cursive Vera Bradley uh, stitched pleather logo on the front. There are no pockets on the outside, but you do have dual zippers and they do have the Vera Bradley writing on the ribbon and it is the cursive writing. So you can open it up and the zippers go down to about halfway down on each side of the bag and it opens up nice and wide so you can see everything. So I'm gonna try my best to get you in here. So on this back wall, you've got two large elasticized slip pockets and you do see the plum crazy trim on the outside of those pockets. And then on the opposite side, you've got three smaller slip pockets. You could see my, um, my, my toothbrush and toothpaste in one. In the middle, I've got two plastic containers, one 
filled with um, uh, Q-tips and the other filled with floss picks. And then the other one is where I stuck my makeup. So you can kind of see my makeup selection is not very large. I've got pressed powder, um, eyebrow gel, and um, under eye cream because as you can see, my dark circles are just amazingly dark. So, um, And then in the middle, this is what I really like about this bag. Now I've only had this for a couple days, but I can already tell I like it more than the other two cosmetic bags that I'm gonna show you here. You can stand your um, large sized items upright and still zip the bag. So you can see that I've got my, um, starting from this side and going that way. I've got my hair cream, my spray deodorant, my large Bath and Body Works lotion, my hairbrush, and my large face wash. All in there perfectly standing up. I wish I can get a better shot for you, but that's probably the best I can do without tipping everything out of the bag. So just let me show you by picking it up. Hopefully you can get a good size comparison with me holding it. Large lotion, large deodorant. Try to get it to focus in. And then large face wash and hairbrush. Now this is not like a large hairbrush. This is a travel size, but you can kind of see you know, how big it is. So I love this, and the material is this nice white wipeable nylon. This is mach machine washable. I wouldn't recommend throwing it in the dryer, but if you want it to dry up a little quicker, you, you can put it on um, light load. Um, I wouldn't really recommend that, but I mean, just be careful if you're going to do that. Um, but you can just machine wash it and dry it, and it will dry relatively quick quickly because it's got that that nice uh, wipeable lining on the inside. So hopefully I can get you in there a little bit closer so you can see those pockets. That's three on that side again. And then on the other side, we've got the two big ones. And in this one, I've got my makeup wipes and then a, a shampoo and conditioner travel size and a travel size body wash. And on this side, I've got my makeup beauty blender, my razor, my little travel size face wash and my big hair pick, the back wall. So I think I finally hit the jackpot in terms of cosmetic bags. This is the perfect size, the perfect shape. I love that there's carrying handles. I do not know why Vera re retired this style. I think it's better than every single, <coughs> excuse me, better than every single cosmetic bag that they currently have out there. I know that's a personal opinion. I do like the, the large cosmetic and I love the medium. I even love the mini ones. Those are all good for their intended purposes. But I mean, I just showed you the leaking issue that I had with the large one. So that's a little bit of a problem for me at least. I mean, people use these for all kinds of things. They don't just use it for their makeup or their toiletries. So it would work really well for other things. But this one, I mean, this one also has the fabric lining. As you can see, see how it's lined with the fabric? So technically, I mean, if something leaks, that could get dirty as well. Um, but the good thing is, is that my, my one culprit in here, the one thing out of everything that seems to have trouble with leaking is that little guy right there, that green hair lotion I just showed you. But it's standing up now, so it's not laying on its side like it was forced to do in this one, which was causing it to leak. It's standing up, it's not gonna leak anymore. So I don't have to worry about that with this bag. So again, this is the Grand Cosmetic in the pattern Plum Crazy. And now I'm gonna show you another cosmetic. I did talk about this a little bit in one of my last videos. I got this from the recent online outlet sale. I finally remember to bring it this time. This is the large blush and brush case, I believe, in the pattern Cat's Meow. And my goodness, I'd be lying to you if I said this, if this wasn't cute. This is so adorable. I, I do like this in a way because you get a full panel here, uninterrupted by pockets. You do have the little uh, blue pleather label down here that's only stitched side to side. But other than that, you get a beautiful display of the Cat's Meow pattern. Same thing with the back. You have nothing interrupting here. You've got the beautiful print. You could take a look at all the nice cats. But this just did not work for me. 
Yes, it's got the handle very similar to this. And it, it even has some depth. It even has a little bit of depth, but the way that it's set up, it just, it, it didn't work. So you can see this one is a little taller. It's got a little more slouch to it. It's got the, the dual handles. Um, it's also got the dual zippers and it's got one big compartment with pockets inside. So let's go through the structure of this one. And this is one of the biggest reasons why this just didn't work. So you've got the pleather zipper pulls all the way around here. You've got one zipper that opens up this front panel that lays flat. And in here, you've got a place for, it's intended for your makeup brushes. I don't have makeup brushes, so that's already a strikeout for me. I like the fact, you know, people are coming up with creative ideas to use these, like for their art supplies and things like that. I think that's great. But I think I'm going to give this to my mom or my sister because I think they would just, they would enjoy it more and find a use for it. And I, it's just, I already found what the perfect bag for me. So this just, this setup just doesn't work for me. Um, then you have a, and this is all plasticized, by the way. This down here is the a more robust nylon, but this is all plasticized. You've got a zipper pocket here with a little metal metal zipper pull, soft zipper. You get a nice shot of the interior print with the birds and the bird cages, some without birds, as you can see there. Really cute, but you can't really fit much in there because it is kind of a flat pocket, but maybe it's intended for like flatter items. So that is the front panel. And then your main compartment, which has just the one zipper there, it is actually, uh, plasticized but there there's not like a layer of plastic over it it's just the whole thing is plasticized material you've got the two big mesh pockets there and then you've got another set of two mesh pockets and then you've got the two gussets so i tried so many ways to get my stuff to fit i tried laying it down standing it up it was just too tight of a fit for me to be able to access everything so while it's a really cute bag, and I think a lot of makeup lovers or maybe even art lovers would enjoy this, it's just, it's, it's not the style for me. There's the carrying handle and it's nice and substantial, very soft. And there's the base. So nice wide base. But yeah, that has been my quick cosmetic bag uh, review. I just wanted to draw some attention, at least in 2020, to the Grand Cosmetic. They are actually really hard to find. I I really tried, um, I, I looked on eBay, I looked on Poshmark, I looked on Macari. eBay had the best selection, but there were so, I know this came out in so many patterns and there are so many patterns that I could not find in this. I uh, did, I don't want to say settled on Plum Crazy because I do love this pattern and I actually think this is my first item in this print um, that I can think of. But I, I was looking, I wanted to see if they had it in a couple other patterns, like Heather or Midnight. I did see one, an older style one in Midnight Blues with the trim, um, but it was way too expensive and it was used as well. This one I got for brand new and I didn't pay as much as I would have for the Midnight Blues one. So I was totally, totally happy with this purchase and this is what I'm going to be using from now on uh, for all of my toiletries and cosmetics. So, um, again, another almost 30 minute video today, a little bit random, but mostly, uh, focused on the new Gen Zip ID that I got and my new cosmetic bag. So I have, I think, let's see, I think I have just a couple more items coming and then I will be having, um, I'll just talk about it. I'll talk about it another time, but. Um, yeah, so I, I'll probably be back hopefully within the next couple of weeks with um, a couple other Vera Bradley updates. But in the meantime, I'm going to use this bag for at least another few days to uh, make my week mark because I'm having so much fun using it. And then I'm, I'm thinking about switching into the Cat's Meow Small Backpack then and maybe I'll do a, a what's in my bag uh, when that time comes. So Again, thank you for tuning in today. I hope you all enjoyed the video and you're all staying positive and hanging in there and staying healthy and doing well. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.